my Big Ten championship game. We work every day and we grind it every day. It was that hard time we had in the summer with the workouts and everything. And we still stuck to the process and didn't quit. It just all played off today. Really, so when you are out there on that fourth down, third and fourth down, right there for the game, I mean, what's going through your mind when you guys make those stops? Um, it's, it was a formation I saw uh, during film. Um, I just knew we watched it on film all the time, so I was supposed to. Uh, Stay thick through the uh, tackles, but I was like, you know, I'm just gonna shoot that gap and make penetration so um, other people can clean it up. So that's basically what I did. I just uh, penetrated that T gap and uh, the mob basically cleaned it up. When you see guys like Damian and Wally, who doesn't play with you, guys, with Jake Bluff, did you compare Sean Clinton to some of these younger guys? It's not even that. Tomorrow, I don't know. What's the mindset of that defense on third and fourth down on the one yard line? You guys come up with two of each time. How bad you wanted, like you wanted to see the pass. So that's why uh, we just made this went through our population. We, uh, we made a basically the opportunity of uh, stopping them at the first uh, first down. I wanted. I think you asked it briefly, but I wanted to ask you specifically about David Lally. He's not out there all the time. A guy goes down, he comes out there for that fourth and one, the biggest play of the game, and he contributes to helping you guys get that stuff. At the end of the day, it's just basically you stay ready. It doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter if you're on the second string, third string, at the end of the day. This is football. Um, people get banged up, you know, you can get um, a lot of stuff happens. So like, if you're up to the next play and you're ready to go, you're ready. So basically, you just basically step down. You made a big time play along with me. So I'm proud of it. And we practice that every, every day. So that's something that you can do. I asked you on the field about this too. Uh, sack celebration that they had that looked pretty familiar. Was that any extra fuel for you the rest of the year? Oh, yeah, it was. At the end of the day, we got the, we got the money. It doesn't really matter that. It's just that they're big fans of it. They're mocking us. They're just big fans of my dance. So that's, that's basically what it's telling me. I'm not, there's no hard feeling or anything. They like, like my dance, so they just did it. Obviously, it's hard to you guys Honestly, he he did step up. I'm not gonna lie. He, he he's a phenomenal player. That's why he got all these players. He's a phenomenal player. Um, we hit him. We hit him. And we got him right where we wanted. And he just had uh, a couple scrambles. We had a contain. And we just messed up on the contain. And he had a couple scrambles. But he did. He had a phenomenal performance. And I will, I will give it to him. He's a great player. When you look at how the roster kind of these guys. Now you kind of get that, that second game a little bit more inspired. Yeah, it was a grudge because I'm not going to lie. The first game we won against, I was getting uh, dominated up front. I was getting dominated up front, like throughout the line, all across the field. And I, had, I held a grudge to that. And I talked to my coaches. They were like telling me how bad of a game I played, and I agreed with them. I watched film over that game over and over and over and see what I could do better and how like uh, how to become a great player that, uh, that people see I am right now. And honestly, uh, I used that grudge against this game, and I uh, – I gave it all I got, and it paid off, really. Thanks, you. Thank you. So you got a TCU turnaround there. What's the difference? Uh, just uh, usually when I was a second quarterback, I just take the towel. So oh, hopefully the refs didn't see it. But, I mean, I took this one from Duggan. So sorry, Duggan, if you see this. But, yeah. For you, you know, in the middle of that celebration, you're kind of on your own. Tears flowing. Tell him, obviously. It's just uh, the hard work I did throughout this whole season. I was just very, I was in a, a lot of adversity. Come off a of surgery, come off the stuff that happened uh, with my family, come off the, uh, the other personal stuff. And for all that stuff, I just handled adversity, even still being a little bit hurt throughout the whole season. It was just all the hard work I did just to fight through, just push through it. And basically, the fuel that gave it to me was uh, having other people on my uh, team injured, like TP. Which, because um, even though I was injured most of the time, I just look at him and just like, listen, so you want to be at my place, so I just got to give all I got. Because you, you're doing the same thing, you're the opportunity that I have. So that's basically all the fuel that came in, and now it's just all the emotions. Yeah. What they to me at the end of the game was that 
I didn't take that personally, honestly, because um, I, I wanted them to take it because if they took a knee, it's, it's game time. Man. I just knew that uh, our defense was, we had the momentum on our side to uh, dominate them. So honestly, whenever they took a knee, I was just like thankful they took a knee because it's, it's ready to go and we have uh, we can reset and we game plan really to stop them in overtime. time. Sorry, I missed you talking about the last two plays to stop them inside the line. Yeah, uh, it was just something we watched the film. This that was a basic formation we watched the film all week. So we, every time we go to the red zone, go line play, that's what we uh, were in. And we had a certain call that will uh, stop that defense. And I, uh, I stick through there as fast as I can to make penetration so the uh, running back can bounce it and uh, my basically the mall can uh, clean it up. That's basically what we uh, talked about all week long. Is basically how in red zone, how we just need to create penetration. And penetration, even if you don't make the tackle, penetration will, will help a lot, especially in times like this. And it's a, bit, it's a huge time stop for the mall. I feel like this game kind of epitomized this whole season, the journey you've been on. Yes. Um, wait, say that one more time. Did it kind of sum up this season, the ups and downs, and you oh, yes. come through? 100%. Um, we had so much ups and downs, so much people getting hurt, Adrian getting hurt, uh, TP getting hurt first thing. We had a lot of adversity. Um, a lot of people got surgery, like the whole D-line had surgery and spring ball. And it's just so much stuff, so much adversity that we went through. And it, it's it's amazing that we uh, just came out and just had a dub. And we uh, we forgot all that adversity, kept on working, kept on working the off season, kept on working during the season, kept on uh, doing extra stuff that unrequired stuff, that even our coaches don't even see outside of the um, outside of the uh, veneer. Just un unrequired stuff. That's how you win championships. And I'll forever preach that uh, going forward. Can you put into words the culture of this locker room? The culture of locker is amazing. Everybody gets along. There's no uh, bad culture with anybody. And the thing is, the difference between this team, even if you're not for the game, everybody's tuned in to lock in and love, love to even, even be on sideline and even accept the role. That's that's the one thing amazing about this team. And um, the thing about this team, again, is just that everybody, like I said before, everybody's just everybody's gets along with everybody. We have that culture to trust each other, to trust uh, what we've been through. And we've been through a lot of stuff uh, in the past uh, summer. So with that, we just, we had that, uh, we had that basically um, all season long and just got it done today. Congratulations. Honestly, um, it was, it's a huge honor. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's a humongous honor. I kind of took it a chip on my shoulder having a co-defense player of the year last year. So um, even though I knew the um, offense was going to game play me, I tried to so, I look at uh, film like, over and over, see how I can beat these double teams, see how I can get sacks and still have penetration and help the other team like mine, like how he did like a three-sack game, just contributing throughout the team so we can uh, be successful in the uh, pass rush game. So it, it was a huge honor with uh, winning that, and I, I think all the coaches promoted me, and I think everything, and it's just, I'm just so blessed right now. Was it, was it crazy to think about like what you and the recent Willie fans came in as freshmen, what you all, what you all went through 2020 to be here today? Oh my gosh, it's, it happened so fast. That's it's honestly, it uh, happened so fast. We even talked about it, us three. Uh, it was like other people, us three, me, and uh, basically us three, TJ, and uh, other people. We were talking about like how uh, we, our class is something special. I mean, we stick together, we can win a Big 12 championship. And we kept on preaching that over and over and over. And look at what we're here now, winning a Big 12 championship. It's just so amazing that we have believed in each other. Um, since we're the only ones traveling, we just believe in each other and believe in our game. And we never had any doubt. Even if Will did some bad things, we never had doubt. We believed in that score. We believed that he was going to step up. And this is the biggest field in the championship. He stepped up and got the job done. What's your feelings right now? Yeah. Um, it's amazing. It's, honestly, it's dream come true right now. This feeling is something I dreamed of in elementary school. It's crazy how my dream just came true. Especially being in the position I am right now, being a defensive player of the year and all that stuff. It's just something that, it just honestly, it's like, so it's amazing, honestly. I cannot wish anything other. I'm truly blessed, and I thank God every day for the position of football. Yes, how, how was the week of preparation here? I mean, did this staff have you guys ready to roll this week? Oh, yes. Oh, we had a big grudge because TCU beat us. We, all heard, we were all hurt that game, and TCU beat us, and we had a huge 
humongous So we prepared like tech uh, throughout the whole week. Uh, we did extra film study, extra things that we can do just to, so we can prepare uh, to get more rush, more uh, better to run game because we already know that running back is a phenomenal running back. And we had a uh, perfect game plan so we can stop him on the run. And that's what we did and uh, how we can contain Duggan and how we can put pressure on him. So uh, credit to Clayton and well, um, he was he was really locked in in this game plan. Credit to our, our mom. We were just really set to uh, win this game. What do you think about the fan turnout here? The fan is amazing. It's crazy because I remember the first day it dropped and we won against KU. I just heard it sold out. So that's why I was like, oh my gosh, these fans are amazing. And it's just I credit to the fans. Um, they get me hyped up, and it's a pleasure seeing that whenever I do my dance, I see the fans all across doing the same thing, and I just love. It. Fans, K State fans, the best fans of Houston uh, by far, and I love them. Felix, you're talking about Will Howard stepping up. How does it feel to watch you guys win the Big Twelve Championship? And you have had so many different people step up because of injuries or any other situations. It's just that we we take pride in being ready whenever our name is called. That's what like Will Howard he took pride in. Uh, when his name's called and Adrian got here, he took pride and uh, stepped up. Uh, we had a freshman that stepped up and uh, did their job. We had Kenny Garber step up. It's just uh, the fact that we don't care what our position is in the second string or third string. We don't, we're not going to pound. We want to work. We want to work either beat the spot or whenever our name is step called to step up. And that's what we did throughout the whole board, offense and defense. Grabbed a TCU towel. Any sentimental meaning behind grabbing that towel? Uh, every time I try to get, every time I get a sack, I try to get a towel. So I, uh, I get, this is Max Duggan's towel that I got. From him. And sorry to Max Duggan, but. Um, Every time I get a sack, this like I have like across the board how many sacks I forgot. I don't know how many sacks I got in my two seasons, but um, I have it in my uh, room right now. All the sacks I, all the towels of the quarterback. So. A good thing. What, uh, what prompted that for you? Like, what, how did you come up with that idea, and what's it made you be able to have that collection? Uh, I forgot. He, why Hebrew was the one started, and I just took tradition from him, and I just passed it, kept on rolling it. And then, yeah, that's basically how. Really. Do you have a favorite one? Uh, let's see. I didn't get the only thing I did. I didn't get TCU last year. That was the one I wanted so bad because I got. Uh, oh, I supposed to got six sacks. I wanted that one, but since I got it this year, I'm so glad. Uh, Texas Tech last year was a pretty good tile that I got, and I'm, I love that tile. Like, it, was, it was the start of my season. It was the start of me like, getting up there. So Not getting the TCU towel last year, but getting it in this way, in this kind of game. Uh, what's that mean? It means everything. It's, it's phenomenal, and I, I appreciate everything, really. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you all.